Hello, hello, and welcome back. This is the first stream that we've done since November, which seems absolutely nuts. Um, so we're here in a championship that we've done a few rounds of. I think this is round four, if memory serves me correctly. And it's the Endurance Championship. So there's two classes, a higher and a lower class. We are in the higher class, which today we are in the GR 101. 2021 Toyota Le Mans car. So, this is an hour and a half race. Qualifying starts in about 15 minutes time. We're just going out, wow. We have to use all three tires. Just having a quick go out on the hard tire. A lot of fun steering this hard tire. And there is going to be weather. Now, we don't know what the weather's going to be until the race starts, so that's going to be interesting. The weather just, the rain does not go over the first sector on the partic participation, not partic participation meter. Then um, you have to use all three compounds, medium, soft, and the hard that we're on at the moment. Say the hard so far. Warm up's not too bad. Balancing is pretty decent on the hard at the moment. Right, let's see what kind of lap time we can do. This is just practice until qualifying. But yeah, this is the first stream we, we've done since the, our Movember down. Um, stream, which we raised over £400 for, which I'm pretty impressed with. Already lost four tenths in the first sector on the harder tyre. The other class of cars is, I believe it's GR4. They'll probably be pretty handy if and when it rains. Just have to line up behind them at the moment. Whoa! To be fair, the balance isn't too bad. Wait, he says. This car is, I'm finding, quite spiky in the circuit. Now, this is what we did in the November stream with, but Le Mans is a very different track, very, very different track. And this is a little bit spiky around here. Rear end can kick out all of a sudden. We lost quite a lot of time in the last sector just because of traffic there. And steer. Wow. Yeah, it's about four tenths in the first sector. It's just basically just traction out of the hairpin. It's a decent line through there. It's going to be interesting these cars in the wet, I have to say I'm looking forward to it, if it happens. Come on, let's hustle. Five and a half down in the middle sector. Got a good turn in then, and then all of a sudden washed wide. Come on. So let's kind of see what kind of time. So doing 31 twos. So. 
not a great tyre. Not as on ice as I was expecting it to be. I was really expecting this to be literally like walking on ice. Oh, that's tricky. Oh, ah, sorry. Car was jumping all over the shop. Right, going to have to give them a bit of a, a wider berth, I think, um, during the race, especially if they're popping around like that. Two seconds while I just post about the stream. Uh, midnight it was my fault went for a gap that disappeared right what time does quali start is the question rules da -da -da, da -da. Uh, qualifying starts at 8 50 oh now <laughs> just as i say that literally track flips right Oh, no wrong buttons. Let's get these soft tyres on. Go. How long is quality? Ten minutes. So we've not got long. Need to try and get a bit of clear track as well. Ghosted. Right. Let's try and get this a good lap time out of this. Soft tyres should warm up quite quickly. traffic ah. get over steer there come on if we time this well we should be able to get past this gt4 down straight Bucky. Here's a bit of slipstream. Right. Break point. A bit too early on the brakes there. Car is definitely heavy with fuel. GR sideways across the track then. Oh, I'm going to catch traffic. Oh, I've got in too deep. Let's 
I get this so stream off. NSX is it? Lap. Had the weight on the rear axle there. Just wanted it lighter. Should have clear traffic here. Purple sector. Ah, uh, ran a bit wide there. on the floor oh, at the final corner there right five minutes is nearly done should be an improvement yeah 28 4 still breaking too early for turn one Half a tenth up in the first sector, not a great middle sector didn't feel like. And too deep. And three tenths in the middle sector. Better into turn one. It's a lot better into turn one. By a tenth. better through there, a little bit more on edge. Evidently not better. No, 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 no. That curb there can be death. Right. We've got two minutes left. So let's take a fresh set of tyres. I reckon I can get round before the 10 minute mark and we'll get one flying lap.
try and make sure I don't get in the way of whoever this is. Go all the way around the long way. Let's try and get this lap. That's a good exit. Yeah, we'll be across the line in time. be on the throttle earlier for out the hairpin. But it's good traction out there, but I think it's gonna be slower again. Lower again. Can switch to the medium tire in case that's what we've got to start on. In fact, we can. Ch does the weather show now? Oh, rain. No, okay. We'll start on the. Oh no, not on hard. On the soft. According to that, there's going to be a bit of rain to start with. Right. That looks like that's our qualifying done. So let's just try and get ready for the race start. Oh, let me close this other way. I can't see chat. Let's try and see. Brian Guard. Oh, message redacted. I've got to go to the first sector. There we go. Nice livery on the uh, Sylvia there by Golden Brownie. Right, we've got a pole, that's a good start. Why did everybody race bumper cam on GT and not cockpit cam? Um, several reasons for me. Um, a, if I switch to this view, the radar is right there in front of you. So when you go cockpit, it's over in the right hand side, so it's out of your per peripheral vision. Now when you're racing really close, really handy because you can see that a lot easier because you're looking down there at gear and rpms anyway um also it is actually quicker this is definitely more immersive and i do enjoy driving in this view especially on things like nurberg ring blast which is a series that we do at the weekends um because you do feel more immersive but because you can't see the corners of the car it definitely is slower so uh, sometimes i do like using this view because you get a bit of both the only thing is again the radar's off into the corner which is so I, I don't like so that's why i run bumper cam um you're probably looking at uh when i've done testing between bumper cam and cockpit cam about two tenths of a second slower that's what i found uh, you can't change the field of view, but you can change the where you 
your seating position. So in cockpit cam, you can move forwards and backwards and up and down, but only a limited amount. So you can get a more comfortable FOV, and it is per car, if memory serves me right. It's just, it's not as fast. Uh, and you know what? I would use cockpit cam a lot more if I could do cockpit cam and then arrange all this, all the overlays. A bit like, um, I think it's Project Cars. Um, yeah, uh, if Project Cars 2, I think it was, you could move where you had everything. Uh, but it's kind of set in stone on this, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, if I could, I would. But when we're, when I'm racing competitively, I'll be able to go. No, unfortunately, you can't customize the radar. It's, it's that, the, the hood is baked in for the views. Right, we've got a pole, which is a, yeah, yeah, I've played a bit of AMS. We've got pole, which is good. We get a couple of extra po points for pole in um, the championship standings. Rolling start. Let's get it. Let's go get this kitty cat. Looks like it's going to be clear weather for the start. want to try and settle in initially and not be a freebie. Don't be a freebie. And the soft tyre. The front and rears around here wear quite evenly. But it's definitely going to be a case of looking after that, the left hand tires around here they, they get quite a lot of punishment almost went off track then Still undecided whether first or second out of the final corner is best. Right, first lap, keeping Brucey at bay for now. Gonna try and maybe save a bit of fuel. Because if we can save a bit of fuel, which means we spend less time stationary, even if we pit on the same lap as everybody else. problem with this car. Nearly went round then. Come on. Really don't know the strategy for this. So all we can really do is go as fast as we can really. Okay. This car definitely responds to just straightening her up and just keeping her traction in a straight line. Take an early long straight. strategy is fuel save 
like drastic fuel save. What I'm just hoping is if we can go fast enough, we'll just stretch the other cars to try and stretch out a little bit more, push them a little bit harder. It's a long race, an hour and a half. Rather than not make any mistakes if we can help it. Right, I'm gonna switch off the radar now. We've got 2.3 seconds. Maybe until we get some traffic, but we can go to weather. I'm already seeing some front tyre wear. GT4 cars are still way down the road. Don't worry about those just yet. Mount Fuji. Do you think Fuji is a good track as a test of a car balance? It's got a little bit of everything here. All these light apex corners are quite tr challenging. See, so like, like this corner, it's breaking for it. Before I could even see the apex marker. Car nearly spat us off again. Pause this lap. Bit of a tardy lap that time. steering angle through that long corner there. That definitely hurts that front tyre. Oh! Gap behind Peaky was just suddenly jumped. Maybe he's had a little mistake there. Right. Cat's just walked in. So if webcam suddenly goes, it's because the cat's decided to have a look at it and probably knock it off. Right, we should get some GT4s down here. Bit concerned about the front tyre wear. Seeming the radar's showing, the radar only shows 50 miles, but shown any weather yet. Don't know why I early up shifted there. Right, traffic. Let's negotiate this. In line, I can work around them. He 
these two are fighting. There's not really a space through here. So keep it nice and tight. Right, that wasn't the fastest way through that section of the track, but it's nice and safe. the GT falls now. Brucey might actually get most of those on start and finish straight or down here, which is better than the area where I managed to pick them up. Definitely getting darker. qualifying we did about 12 13 minutes and hadn't rained at that point Ooh, don't want to get on that curb way wide of the apex there All right lay apex get up over that curb See some traffic down there. That must be a GT1. Car. Right. Save a bit of fuel again. Gap up to 8.8. .8. It's getting very dark. Drifting out there on the marbles. Out there. Must be another GR10 out, out ahead of us. Apex, you're back here somewhere. If you want to join in with us, you can. This is all done, run by Mature Racing Club, which if you um, on Facebook, you should be able to find them. Front left is looking about third done. Dark. It's got to be about to rain at some any moment now. Can barely see Mount Fuji in the background there. trying to stay in the pocket at this point just trying to stay in the zone not think about it too much just let it flow just keep on hitting the same points each lap don't go the grass like that <laughs> So we're comfortably floating around the 29s. Back 
battery is draining at this point, but I do foresee if this is a dry, dry race, we will run out of battery. I think we use slightly more than we can recover per lap. Oh, I can see a bit of rain coming in on the radar. Needs to be heavy enough though. A little bit of rain will not be enough. Gig coming up here. So he's the last, I believe. No, Nelson 01. Not a name that I know, so it's the first time I'm racing with him or her. That weather's coming in very slowly. moment does not not look heavy enough to actually cause any problems are we catching gt4 traffic as well now we are Schumacher into that apex nicely. Right, is that weather even going to hit us? The front left is looking sorry. Use half a tank of fuel yet. Yeah. Need some more back markers there. Wow, the GT4 class looks very close. Got stuck on the inside there. Sorry if you can hear the dog. It's a pug, so it makes a lot of snorting noises. Ah, just a little bit too late on the brakes there. Right, what do we do? This rain doesn't hit. Do we pit and take another set of soft tyres? Whoa! Almost died. Or do we uh, pit and take a set of mediums? In the fact that we may need to swap tyres at some point. Oh, so <laughs> I'm just, I, I, d I don't tend to short shift too much. I think it's just a case of as and when. I'm not going to save fuel. But I look at the tyres, the tyres aren't going to last. I think we're more tyre limited than we are fuel limited round here. It's getting quite bad through there now. Front left is definitely suffering. That 
that rain is just not coming in. It's hanging a bit too far away from the track. I think he's letting us through. Thank you. choice what we're we gonna do do we take another set of softs in the hope that the rain comes this way eventually or do we just switch it I hope hope it stays a dry race and take our second compound I just don't know what to do. Oh, Brucey is pitting. And he's on the softs. So let's keep an eye on what he's doing. What tyre does he take next? With Grand Trisman, he only got a moment. Doesn't look like he's taken any fuel yet. Or is he? Oh, there's his fuel going in. So we'll only know when he exits the pits. There he goes. He's bringing the tank. So he has gone to the medium tyre. Do we follow Brucey? I don't know what tyre the other drivers are on at the moment either. But that front left is definitely... Um, it depends, uh, Brian. Um, really depends on cars. So as an example, if you're running GT3, um, say you're using, I don't know, uh, the Ferrari in the GT3 class, you'll have to run all the way out. But if you're using the McLaren, you literally have to short shift at almost just over the halfway point. And uh, that is just because that's where peak torque is on the McLaren, being a turbocharged engine. The peak torque is lower down. And you're just trying to keep it in there. And you'll find, we'll say the McLaren GT3, if you do short shift there, you get about the same fuel economy that you get compared to, to the Ferrari. Now there is a method in that madness that I know I know some people won't won't like what I'm about to say, but iRacing is a pretty spot on spit sim for sim racing. Uh, for realism. And McLaren 12C in that, the best way to get the most speed out of it again is short shifting it. So the McLaren display goes three green dots, three red dots, three blue dots. And shifting up at the start of the blue dots is actually the best way to do it in iRacing. And it's pretty much similar here. So yeah, it does depend. Oh, yeah, there were, it all depends on the car. So certain cars will you have to short shift by default to get the best performance out of them um, also I suppose it depends if it's a fuel limited tr uh, race where it's better to sh save a bit of fuel than do the extra stop that make a difference as well like for me I short shifted there into turn two, um, just so I'd be in the right gear for the braking zone. Generally this one though needs to be revved out. So Moulton's just pitted, he's gone to hards, that's quite interesting, he's going to have fun on those. Don't know how many more laps we're going to get out of this front left. Uh, 
Right, I do um, GT3 and GT4 races on Tuesday normally, and um, some races you've got a short shift just to make it a one stop rather than a two stop, and sometimes the pit lane loss is just too high. Just realised I haven't been using my flashes on any anybody. See, I'm changing to sixth gear there. So I'd rather change to sixth and then back down to fourth than to be almost changing to sixth and then going back to fourth. That's just to make the car a bit more settled for me. It's that corner. Right, we're going to have to pit this lap. That front left is done, Zode. That's as deep as I can go. Too deep as well. Sorry, Mark. Right. Stick the medium on. We'll bring the tank. I believe a set of mediums will last a tank of fuel. Slight mistake on the R in lap there. Don't get a penalty. Right, medium. Let's bring the tank. So what did we get? Uh, 17 laps. 70% uh, uh, of fuel. Okay. Cool. While we're waiting on the pit crew smash a like it's very much appreciated we've uh, had some jack fest content on here the other day um, and we've got uh, some gr yaris content coming up soon as well right p gib and baza are past us there we go let's see where we come out compared to brucey be nice if the battery recharged in the pits but I don't think it does. Right, Brucey has got us down to right, these are gonna take a little bit of warming up. Go around the outside here on the marbles. to 12 seconds which I think is back, back when before he pitted right P give 14 seconds ahead problem is with P Gib and Baza up ahead they're on the medium tire and it rains anytime now we've lost out Oh, no, P. Gibbs on the soft. Okay, that helps. Just Bazza now. He's slightly better than us for fuel. Slipstream. Good choice of car, James. Mitsubishi Evo, I approve. Right, that's at seven seconds down the road. Just need to make sure we re readjust our brain that we do not have soft tyres on anymore. There is less grip here. Although I would have said probably more than our used softs that we had on. Yeah, we've just dropped into the 30s on those used softs. So, once we get some clear track, see what kind of lap we can do. Oh, a little bit of wheel 
it's been there. I hate it when the rubber band like that. Right, weather so far is clear. This is, this is nuts, man. Is it going to be a completely dry race? Oh, I hope not. I kind of want a bit of weather. Enjoy driving in the wet on this day. So with traffic, we did a 30.8. So I think we are faster on these new mediums than we are on the old softs. on this lap. Great livery on that, uh, Sylvia Golden Browning. went off then. I wouldn't have thought Baza would have been on the softs and gone this far. But we are catching. That's half an hour done. One third of the race done. 30.4 but what a scruffy lap. Too deep. One, two, eight, two, ten. A little bit out of the rhythm of the soft tyres at the moment. We need to find the rhythm of these mediums. They're fairly sharpish. Probably going to be on them for. Oh god, here comes wet weather. See it. Bottom, that's a rain cloud there. Is that going to hit the track or is it going to miss us like the other one? Give this swift plenty of room. Push a swift at the apex and cause a spin. Right. Thirty point nine, so not ooh. I was looking at the chat then. Did see that GT four car come from outside Baza? Now, if this rain is strong enough to need wet, Baz is lapping right here. At the moment, it looks like it may hit the track, but it doesn't look strong enough to actually soak the track. Here it comes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Made a mistake. That was a drive, driving mistake. That wasn't wet track or anything like that. Yeah, the windscreen wipers are not even moving yet. Oh, that's cost us seven seconds-ish.
Wow. All of a sudden, Toyota wants to fight me. Come on, little Toyota. Don't want to be fighting with me. Let's do this together. We've got seven seconds when you catch back up. Yeah, that shower has not done anything to track conditions. Would you any more weather? Definitely got good pace on Baza. Just need to close up this gap now. to a rhythm here. I reckon he's probably just chanced it was gonna be wet wet enough. Ow. I bet those were a few laps of pain. And it won't count towards his tire selection either. Okay, he's just changed tyres, got rid of the wets, and look, there's a little bit of wet on its way in. Whether it's going to be strong enough this time. This is why we need to get up and past Baza. Duty 4 traffic coming in. Looks like wherever this weather is, it's going to hit the circuit. Definitely got a rough end of the deal there with the traffic. Right. Let's try getting before this weather really comes in. Right, it's back bumper there through it. Oh, 
and he threw the car off into the bushes then. Definitely looks like proper rain coming now. going for the pits. Do you reckon he's going to go to wet tyres or intermediates? So I can see this rain is coming in. Not yet with us. Oh, we can't. I don't think he can do another lap. Can he? And the fuel he's got. P. Gibb going to go back to the wet tyres. going just keep swimming recently closed up of that battle with Baza and the traffic oh Baza's gone gone to wet tires I don't think it's wet enough for wet tires yet now see it yeah windscreen wipers are on and rain lights are on but it's not just gone over the threshold yet Respect for the GT4s. Baza's going to be cursing that choice of going for the wet tyres. has not been wet enough. And we're actually going to go to a hole in the clouds now. Or, or a break in the clouds, I suppose it should be fair to refer to. Starting to feel a bit more comfortable on the mediums now. Finding the rhythm. Should hopefully get 
some of these GT4s down the start finish straight. Yeah, Baz is at the bail for the wet tyres. That's actually put that lap down. Everywhere in the GT4 field. I don't know if it's going to rain again though. If anybody is watching the stream, you can rewind it back to the end of qualifying for me and let me know what kind of weather that was. Because I looked at it briefly, I looked at the start weather. It, went, it was random, then raining, raining. But then I didn't look what it was after that. I'd be handy to know. Oh, it's getting brighter. So yeah, if you can... Oh, Pete Gibb went on the Inters. He's having to bail off those as well. I'm enjoying the driving. Got half this tank of fuel left. And we're sitting at the high 29s, low 30s. A bit deep on the brakes there. Oh, this is battle for fourth and fifth ahead in class one. a Ferrari look-alike lengthways across the track then. We have got a bit of damage, but we are on light damage, so it should fix itself. A bit. I don't know whether um, Molson hit peak here there. Just lit up the rears, which is very easy out that corner there, especially on cold tyres. Whoa, 42 minutes ago, plus one lap. Wow, look at the sunshine. Look, I can see the hills. She's still not too far down the road, that's for sure. Less than 10 seconds. I was hoping you're going to stay on your line there, uh, Scott. Never mind. Clear track now. Ooh. Almost went into a spin there. Thing is, the gap between me and Brucey, it's not a comfortable gap. Like one spin, like we almost did there, if he passed us.
don't know what to do with the rest of the race. Strategy wise. I don't know what weather forecast is. Is the weather forecast for more rain? I just don't know. weather right now it doesn't look like any more rains forecast so do we go to the hard bring the tank and go to the end I don't know I feel like the hard is just doesn't have enough performance But then, if it doesn't have enough performance, that means we're going to have to make another stop. Come on, turn. Some sort of blue GT4 car. Bill in the Mazda by the looks of it. Should get the NSX down here. and run down on that battery though. Don't know what kind of impact that will make on lap times either. I think from memory it makes a little bit of a difference but it's not massive just because I think there is some good braking areas around here. So it does get once it is flat, it does get a bit of charge, so you've, you've got it for probably about two thirds of the lap. That's getting brighter. I might switch the hood up to show fuel. See where we're sitting with fuel. Six point two laps left fuel. So I don't think at six point one as we cross the line, I don't think we're close enough to stretch another lap out of this. So that's kind of where we're at. So tires easily do the fuel tank. too tight into there. We've got 35 minutes left plus 
35 minutes left plus what? Six laps of fuel. Oh, oh, oh. That was close. I thought somebody pitted and I was looking at the uh, position tree up the top corner. Oh, Basil would have seen me crap a brick then. I'm going to assume it's going to be dry for the rest of the race. Right, Bruce is pitting. Great. Let's see what he does. Let's see if he goes hard and how much fuel he's put in. Right, he's filling the tank. He went hard didn't fill the tank. Didn't know I had Bazza right on my truff. Right. So what do we do? Do we match his strategy or do we go with the soft? Uh, I was letting you through, Bazza. sensible thing to, would be to go with the hard again, match what Bruce is doing, bear in mind as long as we can get some consistency, we should be able to go faster than him on his new hards, so far we have. Scruffy now. We threw it off the track again. Right. Come on, we've got to get this together. Two second lap, that was a four lap there. We did let that's a three. Again, we'll spin out there in second now. So how much how, how much fuel do we put in? Oh. I think some of the handling issues are coming from the 
entire offset between left to right. Right. 2.7 laps left of fuel, so two laps basically. Back into the 30s. doing what am I doing why did I go to third and through there I have no idea is the hard gonna be death that's my fear close calls that we've had. I'm going to stick on the hard. Those close calls are going to become a an accident. turn the fuel down so I'm going to try to stretch it to another lap here Just doing some good times up there. do about strategy the safest thing to do is just mirror Bruce it and just back it off a couple of tenths and just try and keep it on the road with those hard tires Right, the 
the smart thing to do would be just pit, put some fuel in, and go on the hard tyre. But it's part of me feeling like, let's just put three laps in, do our three laps on the hard tyre, and then let's come in for some softs. Go soft to the end. Like, it means we are going to have to catch and pass him, but we're going to have to catch and pass him on the better tyre. Which one, Evie? Uh, probably not wise, but... Uh, you're pulling on the cable. Okay, Brucey's pitted again. Brucey doing? Is he gonna do this? What I'm thinking here. He's in. Just gonna get the front end to turn then. It's strange being on the hard tire now. Okay, he's putting some fuel in. 70. 72 and he's gone to the soft tyres. So he's getting off those hard tyres. So it's worked because if I had a brimmed it and gone to a full tank hard with the hard tyres, I think he would have caught us up quite quickly. Right. going to be our flying lap on the, oh bloody hell there's two cars there, uh, our flying lap on the hards, at times it doesn't feel too bad but that is because we've got, um, what should we call it, no fuel in the car, like that's where the hard time just feels sketch. Bruce is, is on the soft time now, so I expect him to close up the gap. Right. That's our, our, our fast lap on hards. So this is going to be our in lap. Still don't know how much fuel to put in, so we're going to have about 20 minutes of racing left. Doing 1 minute 30s-ish. 31s if we're on the hards. taking two seconds out of us in basically a lap. That was my hope that if he was going to try and go to the end on the hards, if we, even if we drop behind because our uh, Bazaar was on the soft, if we, if we drop behind, we'd be able to come on the attack and he'd have hard tyres and we'd have the softs. Right. 
Right, back to the softs. How much fuel do we put in now? Is going to be the question. All right, let's. It's going to be about 20 minutes. So if, if it's two minutes a lap, be 10 laps. So I'm going to say 15 laps. Look at that. Bruce has caught us up a lot there. I don't know what, uh, 69, that's more than enough. 15.1 laps. I don't know if we've got enough fuel now. Right, the track's getting dark now. Sun is starting to set. Should be on Mount Fuji now. Right, we do have more grip now, but we need to remember not to take the Michael. Yes, we have more grip, but it's not infinite. I think we got the gap out to Brucey about to 11 seconds, so now he's eight seconds behind, so. He's definitely keeping us going through here. He's right on us. That's a swift. Right, well, worst case scenario, if we do need more fuel, we'll have to fuel save. Like a mother effer at the end. So if you think I'm going to run out of fuel, chat, let me know as soon as possible, please. It's becoming increasingly difficult to see that apex curve there. all the way out there. Well and truly in the shade of Mount Fuji right now. Right, let's keep our head down. Let's find that rhythm. Missed my breaking point there. Right, is that Baza? I don't think he's on the soft tire anymore. Start catching him again. No, it's P. Gibb, okay, in the Ferrari. Thank you. Right. 
Bruce has not given this up at all. He's one mistake away from beating us here. Turn two. No real gap in the traffic right now either. Felt a better lap this time. Oy. Not sure what they were doing there. Oh, weather. Oh, scheiße. It could be raining. Yeah, the rain lights are on. Can you hear the rain on the car? Right, well that froze the cat amongst the pigeons. If I had known it was going to rain at the end, might have been able to skip the hard tyres altogether. does absolutely eat it down. At least that'll be easy on the old fuel. Right, at the moment, not really enough for showering. Bruce is basically doing exactly the same lap times as what I'm doing as well. Didn't have a good lap there, but that was just traffic. Just swings and roundabouts. Right, here's a big chunk of rain. A bit cautious of the curb there, just in case. Do have the soft tyre. So it means we do have good grip. Does get a little bit slick. Not quite to the first marker there. Just there going across that curb. Could have been very wet. Luckily it wasn't. Ooh, I'm just there. Right, is this out of the rain? How many laps of fuel we've got left? 9.8 so it should be good but rain has left the track now let's hope that's good
keep on pushing though, bro. You see, it's definitely putting the pressure on us. Baz is in off his hards. Interesting to see if he puts fuel in because we've got that same fuel. In fact, I've got less fuel, I've got 40. Don't think he did put fuel in. sector. It's a lot of time there. as close as possible to Scott there. Right, clear track now. Oh, balls. Got a purple and then went straight off. That very, very much distracted me there. Now we're wide through here as well. Oh, is that Baza? Oh, gone too deep. See if we can roll some pace in. Seven laps left, six minutes to go, so that's good. That's where we want to be. this time so didn't flop up the braking Shouldn't be trying to race Baza really. I kind of want to put some power down, just A to keep the focus, but B, I want to 
gonna keep the fast slap. How? Oh, it's, oh, I'm out of battery, ain't I? That's why. It's like, how is he pulling so hard on me down straight? But I'm, I'm out of battery. Whoa, sorry. Sorry. I'm just getting all in the way here. Oh wow, look how much time I've lost there. Four and a half seconds to gap now. Oh Baza, what are you doing? from way back three seconds is the gap now they are using battery now what's that? how strong the slipstream is no. Wait. Right, so the traffic definitely hampered Brucey a little bit. to take my fastest lap because that's also worth some points. Right, gaps back up to 5.2 seconds. So two more laps by my counting. I've got four laps of fuel. Right, so we can push the fuel a bit harder now. I'm all out of battery. Getting battery in certain areas of the track, but other areas we are not. Why Baza can I'm holding with him in certain areas through the corners, but on the power, losing to it. I didn't need to upshift then. We're doing one minute thirties, so one and a half seconds it's costing us, roughly. About a second. Right, should be the final lap.
bad place to be to, you know, in the final lap of the race. Why am I fighting with him? It's one nudge in the wrong place. We could be spinning around here. Do not have the gap. Let's be doing it. In. Get in! Oh. oh yes! That's pole, fastest lap, and the win. Oh, that's a trinity right there. Oh, oh man, that was good fun. Oh, Fubaki, Scott, and not Midnight. It looks like the GR4 uh, was pretty competitive. Get in! Pole position, fastest lap, and the victory. Get in. Whoa. Let's save that replay. Oh, not got enough space. Uh, who uh, who came? Uh, it was um, Fubaki Scott at midnight. Just want to say congratulations to them. Fubaki uh, Scott at midnight. And oh, great race with uh, Brucey, Baza, and P. Gibb. Uh, P. Gibb, Baza, Brucey, and where's where's the other chap gone? He already left. Oh, that was good fun. Oh, I enjoyed that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, that was some good racing there. Only made one mistake for the whole hour and a half, which I'm quite chuffed with because I did a little bit of practice and I struggled with this car. It was like I found it quite peaky and the rear end wasn't <sighs> probably where I want it to be. But I hope you guys and girls enjoyed watching here tonight. Um, it's been a good one. And uh, yeah, look forward to maybe some more streaming if you enjoyed it thumbs up is always appreciated it's a shame it didn't rain i was kind of looking forward to rain um but what was the weather in fact the weather was rain 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 and then random 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 then rain rain so yeah the rain two and three was not strong enough to cause actual um rain rain um so yeah i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more a subscribe button is always very helpful as well until the next time good night and have a good one